at California Carnivores and I thought we should do a little update on our mini bogs. So if you've seen any of our videos on how to build a bog and we have several really great videos that will teach you exactly how to put together your own carnivorous plant bog, then you've seen us build these and I thought it'd be fun to take a look at one that I built last year so you can see how it looks today. And these are little bogs that are full of Saracenia, Venus flytraps, and Drosera that do really well all potted up together in one big pot and then sitting in a deep saucer of water. We sell these kits on our website and they're really fun. They're a great way to get introduced to carnivorous plants if you always wanted to grow them. So let's look at my mini bog pot that's all grown out and let's take a look and see how it's looking this year. All right. Well, I think first of all, you can see that this Venus flytrap is very happy. This is Dianea M. Dente. You can tell these are dente teeth on this plant. Um, looks really happy. So where there was one plant or maybe a little cluster of plants, there are many. And this isn't even in its full growth for the season. So you can see how big that is. And as we rotate around, here are my Drosera tocayensis. Look at these beautiful little sticky sundews. Now, this did come in a little clump, but you can see it's really, really filled out. There's a ton of plants there. And of course, one of my favorite things ever, this Saracenia. So Saracenia like this, they start to put out their new pitchers in early spring, and then they just send up a profusion of pitchers. So there's a bunch of stages of pitchers on here. You can see this is a fresh one. Hey, look, here's a little baby one coming. And this is gonna grow up beautifully and it'll just have a ton of pictures all throughout the summer. So these bogs are gonna do best grown outdoors in full sun in most circumstances. There are of course some exceptions to the rule which I'll touch on in a second, but these are full sun plants in most circumstances. Saracenia are actually native to the southeastern coastal plain of the United States, places like Florida and Alabama and Texas. And of course the Venus flytrap is native to a hundred mile radius around Cape Fear in the Carolinas, and sundews can take a lot of sun as well. So you really want a lot of sun, and most of the time indoors on a sunny windowsill is not gonna be enough light. They also want access to a lot of bugs. Outdoors is gonna be best, and they also do like good airflow. They don't really want to be sitting in a place where they're not gonna get great airflow. So if possible, please grow these outdoors. If you're concerned about the area you live in being too hot or too dry, just take a look at some of our other videos that talk about care instructions. But generally speaking, if you live somewhere really hot and really dry like Arizona, I recommend growing something like this in full morning sun with protection from the afternoon sun. But otherwise, we're in zone 9B and they grow extremely well outdoors, unprotected, but we make sure they're always sitting in water to offset the heat. All right, I hope that helps. Happy growing.